There are five state fish breeding plants in Ukraine. The largest three are in Kherson region. The enterprises breed and grow fingerlings. Thus, not only are freshwater fish species bred, but also the natural ecological balance of domestic rivers and reservoirs is maintained. This is the Nova Kahovka fine mesh fish state breeding plant. For reference, the species within the family of carp are called fine mesh. Those are carp, grass carp, silver and gold crucian carp, and silver carp. The plant was commissioned in 1986. Its production capacity is four and a half million fingerlings a year. This enterprise is encircled by a drainage channel along its perimeter, the length of which is 40 kilometers. And within the perimeter, there are many ponds of different sizes from 20 to 100 hectares each. All all reservoirs are technologically connected. In some of them, the fingerlings grow, in others, they spend the winter. The total area of all ponds of the Nova Kakovka plant is 850 hectares. The Nova Kahovka plant is the largest and one of the last objects that were built in order to maintain the environmental situation as well as increase the industrial fish population in the Kahovka reservoir. The Kahovka hydroelectric power plant was built in 1956. In the first decade after its construction, it turned out that the appearance of the dam had led to a significant reduction of fish stocks. Since the 1970s, the waters of the lower Dnipro and Kahovka reservoir began accumulating silt. Fish no longer spawned, as they needed sand, gravel, or shells. It became clear that without breeding fish and releasing them into the environment, the fish fauna of the lower Dnipro would not recover. For this reason alone, fish breeding plants have been built in the Kherson region. These plants were built with compulsory adjustment funds from building hydroelectric power plants. Their operation was aimed to overcome the shortcomings and losses that were caused by building hydroelectric power stations, and breeding offsets these losses. Fish stocks are formed that enable the fishing industry and processing to work. The other side of the coin is environmental. The thing is that fine mesh fish are herbivores. They feed on phytoplankton and they were brought to the Dnipro River from the Far East. These are the fish of the East China Basin, white carp, variegated carp, and white grass carp. The breeding of grass carp will be especially relevant in the Dnipro reservoirs because spawning grounds are destroyed and large volumes of organic matter accumulate, which affect the quality of water, its hygienic condition, and the ecology of the Dnipro River. Biologic reclamation is conducted worldwide. It's a well-known way to improve water quality characteristics, though naturally on a much smaller scale. But these plants work on quite a large scale on the Dnipro River. Our foreign colleagues are astonished with the magnitude of work being done here, with the stocking of such large bodies of water and in such large numbers. The survival rate of fingerlings in nature is no more than 3%. Factory fingerlings get into the waters already weighing 30 grams. They have fewer enemies, so their average survival rate is 60%. Such stocking makes it possible to clean unnecessary algae from most of the river bottom, seen as fine mesh fish have excellent appetites. You can find on the market fish that weigh 8 to 10 kilograms. To achieve such a weight, the fish eat more than half a ton of phytoplankton, which causes pollution. Such voracious herbivore fish are our allies in the struggle to save our rivers. We are a subordinate to the fisheries agencies of Ukraine. They send us the plan for stocking the Kahovka reservoirs in Dnipro River, which we must fulfill. This is a biological program of restoration of the natural resources of the Dnipro River. In addition to traditional programs of breeding fine mesh fish, the plant is engaged in scientific work, breeding hybrids in particular. Recently, they managed to create a hybrid of common and creation carp. This is a creation carp, and this is a carp.
В сравнении показать карпа карась это гибрид между карасем и карпом. Самка карпа. They were born at the same time. As you can see, the creation carp grows twice as fast as a regular carp. Просто видите, карпа карась у два раза превышает темп роста карпа. Ethiologists have another noble mission. They're searching for long forgotten species of freshwater fish, and they breed them again. Asp, burbot, and brim have virtually disappeared. This species of fish traditionally settled in the Dnipro. It will then produce offspring in two to three years. Then natural populations will reproduce themselves. I believe this is the main purpose of our work, to restore the quality of the fauna in the Dnipro. The plant is steadily increasing its production volumes. The state task of fingerling production in 2016 is 4,535,000 fish of different ages and varieties. In the past 30 years, there have been no other orders of such similar magnitude. It is a complete system plant which means that fish are grown from egg stage to up to two years old. At that age, the fingerlings are released into bodies of water. They also set free fingerlings that are the current summer age group. Well, that is, they grow from spawn to fingerlings until September. They grow up to weight of 20 to 25 grams. Then they stop growing because the growing season ends, and we release them into bodies of water of national significance. Uh, what fish do you have there? Carp, white grass carp, silver carp, and catfish. Before loading, the fingerlings are weighed and then loaded into vehicles that are equipped with oxygen cylinders so that the fish can breathe on the road. And now I'll open the hatch and pour the fish into the Kakovka reservoir. The whole process of fish stocking is strictly regulated. All fish must be moved as soon as possible. To do that, both the factory transport vehicles and the entrepreneur's cars are used. I can see that the fish are glad to be free. I'm not alone. There are 11 more people who move the fish. That means we've moved over 100 tons of fish. It's quite simple. The more fish we move, the more we have to catch. The fish can be shipped as soon as possible, as overcrowding in fishing nets is undesirable. The fish have to be quickly transported to natural bodies of water. Fish at the plant grow by feeding on natural foods, so upon getting into natural bodies of water, they quickly adapt to the environment. I control the development of phyto and zooplankton, which is what the fish feed on. They adapt to the environment because if we feed them, they will simply die of starvation when released. Or the fish might get sick, so the health of the fish is constantly monitored at the plant. A specialist constantly takes scale scrapings and checks them under the microscope for any signs of disease. If we find parasites, then we make preventive baths in order to avoid the spread of diseases. There's a range of dyes, blue, purple, and green. Various dyes are used depending on the availability of ectoparasites. This dye is used as brilliant green. This is the same brilliant green sold in pharmacies, but it's based on a water solution. During a full examination, the abdominal cavity of fish must also be checked. Раз в десять дней я смотрю рыбу на наличие...
We analyze the fish for the presence of parasitic or infectious diseases every 10 days. Infectious diseases can be detected by the appearance, condition, and behavior of fish. And in case of parasitic diseases, we search for the infestation and check everything under a microscope. We also examine the fish from each pond before releasing them. And we examine them before releasing them into a different pond. In general, we control the fish constantly. We should add that in 2007, the plant began breeding predators, perch, pike, and catfish, in addition to fine mesh and herbivorous fish. These are fingerlings of pike and perch that can reach sizes that don't occur in nature. This is because our fish are three to four times larger than fish that grow in natural habitats. Fishermen also confirmed what has been said. For several consecutive years, usually in the autumn, they have been having great catches. Carp, grass carp, or silver carp can be caught even at the waterfront. And that is not even the limit. A national program on the reclamation of our unique Dnipro species is currently being implemented. The starlet is of the freshwater sturgeon family. It once was a traditional object of trade, but unfortunately it is now listed in the Red Book of Ukraine. And now the Dnipro plant is working on the restoration of the sturgeon family and their positive results. The International Association of Aquaculture is introducing new technologies and works on restoration and protection of endangered species throughout Western Europe. Its experts highly appreciate the contribution of Ukrainian fish breeding plants in this regard. This year, we hosted representatives from many European countries, Italy, Hungary, the Czech Republic, and Lithuania. They were very surprised by what they saw, because they don't have such capacities. There are also no programs similar to these executed on the Dnipro in Europe, not in any other country in the world. And they saw that we are working at a high level. There are prospects of cooperation with the European institutions as the accumulated experience is useful for both sides. And then the Red Book of Ukraine, which includes 32 species of disappearing Dnipro fish, will no doubt be significantly reduced.